Hello everyone, welcome to game number 18 here in the Cheese League as we have the Steamrollers battling the Strongmen. Today on the hill we have Poke Mena for the Rollers and for the Strongmen, Wedge Gallegos. Jericho dozen rolls, steps in for the Rollers. Hi, foul. Gallegos, not too high in the velocity meter. As dozen rolls flies out. Dali in center field. That'll bring up Chuck Rocket. Second baseman here for the steamrollers. Gallegos, more of a junk man, I would say. Four seamer, two seamer, slider, curveball, and change. Breaking ball fouled away. And three and two. And strike three, called out on the lone inside pitch. That brings up Banjo Crane, the right fielder for the Steamrollers. Takes the ball way outside. Tried the corner and missed. Strike one to Crane. And he walks. So Gallegos walks Crane. The first baseman, number five. That will bring up Annika Proctor. And strike one. Ball low, so 2 1 now to Proctor. And strike two. Kind of checked her swing there. And 3 2, try to get her to chase. Runner goes. And the batter is walked. So Kurt Johnston comes in, the left fielder for the Steamrollers, takes a strike. And 2-1 now. Runners go, and that sneaks under the third baseman's glove. The runner comes home, Briefs throws the home, and safe. So the Steamrollers take the early lead here as Shepard Pace comes in. With two on and two out. Throw. It's a second, but she's safe. That's high. You see Gallegos and the runners go. Throw down to third, safe. So the runners advance. And strike two. Gallegos not very high in the accuracy meter. So lots of balls. Already two walks today. That should do it. Briefs to view for the third out in the inning. Roller strike first. Here's the strong men come up the bat in the bottom of the first. Nice little looping view there of Founders Field. Ooh, look at Poke Mena. A little bit of a submarine pitcher. Ooh, that's a nice diving stop and catch by Proctor. We're out number one. Ogle Corker steps in. Yeah, Mena and Submariner here. Kind of reminiscent of, uh, is that Chan Ho Park? No. Chiming Wong. Maybe that's who I'm thinking of. So two outs now. And two balls, one strike. And two and two now. Briefs. Hits a high fly ball into center field. Can of corn there for a dozen rolls as that's out number three. We move to the top of the second. There's a good look at Founders Field. The extended dirt infield. There it goes into short, the short parts of the outfield. Love the way that looks. Hudson Hopkins steps in. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That's a pop fly to third base. And Burns Wells there. For the out, Alex Clark steps in for the steamrollers. And fouled away. And that's right at view for out number two. Kai Best looking for his first hit of this season. Foul ball. 
That's fouled the way to the left. And right back at Gallegos for out number three. Four, five, and six hitters do up for the strong men. Serenity Hill down. Good start to her season. Hitting 700 so far. Oof, that looks like a good pitch on the inside part of the plate. But it's a 2-1 count now. And Hill down pops it up to the catcher. So Best catches that one. With the first out. So Casey View steps in, the first baseman for the strongman. Takes the ball inside. Poke man, a little more of a velocity pitcher, not big on accuracy, probably due to the nature of his delivery. Takes that. Strike one. And walked. That looked like it could have been a high strike. I would argue that one. But I'm just here in the booth and I'm not in that position. Tucker Bauer steps in. Ball high to Bauer. Accuracy has already gone down for Poke Mena. And that's a base hit up the middle. So two on, one out. And Milana Gomez comes in, the catcher for the strongman. She rips that one down the right field line, but foul. And strike two, quickly 0-2 on Gomez. Takes that one, and they double it up. Double play to end the inning. Hot shot there to third base, and they double it up. Top of the order up. Now for the steamrollers. Jericho dozen rolls. One and one. The two and two. Two dozen rolls. Grounder foul. Just foul. And hit through the right side for a base hit. Beautiful Founders Field. You can see some of the dimensions there. Founders Field. Kind of odd, odd dimensions. And the runner goes. Dozen rolls goes and takes second. Chuck Rockette up now. He's over today, and, and that should be a base hit. No, yes, it is base hit. I thought, hmm, I thought for sure, sure Hilldown was going to dive for that one. Dozen rolls had to hold up at second. View dives, makes the stop, throws over to Gallegos for out number one. So runners on second and third, one out, and Annika Proctor steps in. Very locked in this early in the season. Swings through that one for strike one. And strike two. Takes a ball low. Pops that one, fouled away. And again, I wouldn't put it there again. She's right on that. So the full count to Proctor. And she walks. That brings in Kurt Johnston. He's one for one already today with a single as the bases are loaded. And rips that one. Wood to Briefs to view for the double play. So the steamrollers leave the bases full as we head to the bottom of the third. Eight, nine, and one up for the strongmen. Class burns well. Looking tense already because he's still looking for his first hit of the season. Gonna break the ice. Strike two. Good pitch there from Mena. And Proctor will take that herself for out number one. Kai Wood, number nine hitter and second baseman for the strongman. Whiffer is activated with the 0 2 count. And strike three. Top the order now with Langston Ali, center fielder for the strongmen. 0 for 1 so far today. 
This under, almost underhand delivery is very deceiving. 3-1 now. Ooh, high strike there. Full count, and the batter's walked. Mena, again, not a very accurate pitcher. As Corker steps in, 0 for 1 today. Runner with very good speed on the base. Throw over to first, and safe. Again to first, and safe. Runner goes, and safe. Stole that very easily. The throw. That pickoff move to second has never worked in all the years that I've seen it. Pop up to best, and that should be it for out number three. Top of the fourth now. Steamrollers still lead at 1 0. Uh, Shepard Pace up to bat. And he hits one into left field for a base hit. Pace, definitely one of the unique, more unique looking players here. As Hudson Hopkins steps in, Pace has kind of a 1960s kind of look going on. And he runs pretty decent there at first base. That is popped up. Carrying. But Ali is under it for out number one. Alex Clark steps in for the steamrollers. The runner on first. One out, top of the fourth. Sneaks one through the right side. And now there are two on with one out as Kai Best steps in. 0 for 1, still looking for his first hit of this young season. That one's popped up. I don't know if that's deep enough to get the runner to third. We'll see. There's going to be a play at third, and he's out. Double play. They doubled him up. Should have probably just held the runner. So steamrollers unable to capitalize as the strongmen come up to bat. Number. Dave Briefs, a shortstop, comes in for the strong men. And his accuracy way, way down, junk way down. And that one sneaks by the third baseman. Four base hit. So, Serenity Hill down now up. 0 for 1 today. Likes that inside pitch. So, a mistake here. Could end up in the seats. Hilldown is a power hitter. Ooh, what, count one and two now. As that ball's in the dirt. 3-2 to Hilldown. Fouled away. And she walks. Packed house here at Founders Field. Crowd quieted up to this point. See if, it, and ooh, that's trapped there by Pace. Pace to Rockette to Proctor for the double play. Good snag there. Just like that, two outs. Runner on third for Tucker Bauer. And it's coming home. Play it home. Alweedy's out. What a play at the plate. One got away from best, but they were able to recover. Dozen rolls, top of the order again for the steamrollers. 3-0. Grounded to Burns well for out number one. Rocket one for two today with a single. Ball outside. Gallegos, 67 pitches so far. Velocity, accuracy, and junk. All trending down as that one gets into the seats, I do believe. Yes. So 2 2 now to Rocket. That one's hit very well to left center, but Ali tracks it down for out number two. 
Bandro Crane steps in. Batting 100. So far, lines went into the stands. Foul ball. Ooh. Trying to brush him off the plate there. So now, full count on Crane. And that's popped up. Should be no issue for Wood, and it's not. Out number three. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Still 1 0. Steamrollers over the strongmen. As Tucker Bauer steps in. One for one so far today. Tucker Bauer has a uh, Prince Charming kind of look about him. Swinging strike out, but uh, they're able to recover. They throw him down for out number one at first base. I like that new feature here at Super Mega Baseball 3. He passed ball, strike three. Ooh, that's a hard hit foul ball. Lana Gomez, Lana Gomez. High fly ball deep in the left center. Home run. That was a shot. That ties the ball game. 445 foot shot. Her second homer of the season. Third RBI. That brings up third baseman Class Burnswell as the score is now tied at one. That is one of Mena's. Laws, I suppose. And that is a fly out. Oh no, Crane is only traps that. So that drops in right in front of Crane for a base hit. So Kai Wood comes in. One on, one out. And they throw over to first, safe. As I finish the thought, Mena, you know, not big on accuracy, as this could be two. And it is, double play to end the inning. But Mena, not big on accuracy, could be a downfall as the season progresses. Nonetheless, the strongmen get one and tie the ball game. Proctor comes in, two walks today so far. And whew, looks at strike one, thought about it. And quickly 0-2. Infield is guarding the lines. And strike three, Gallegos. Another strikeout. So Gallegos is taken out. Billy Gilbert comes in, in relief. And Kurt Johnston steps to the plate. And that's a high fly ball. But Porker's there for out number two. Shepard pace. One for two, the single so far today. Takes strike one on the outside corner. And fouled off to the left. So 0 and 2 now on pace. Try to get him to chase. One and two. Burnsball snags that one at third base to view for out number three. So we go to the bottom of the sixth. Top of the order up for the strong men. Langston Ali steps in. Main is still in. 69 pitches now. Strike one. 86 on the gun. It's about as fast as he goes. That is a shot into right field. Going, going, gone. Absolute bomb. Four hundred and twenty-nine foot bomb. Langston Ali, his first homer of the season, third RBI. That was an absolute tank to right field. Onto the roof of what appeared to be a snack stand. And that is a base hit into right field. So let's see if they pull Mena here as Briefs comes in. One for two today, and they do. So Steady comes in a relief of Mena. Ooh, he's safe at first. That's up. 
Steady has been so far steady this year as they throw over the first, safe. So far steady this year for the steamrollers. And safe, ooh, that was a close one. And that crosses up best. The runner advances to second. Ball outside. Ball outside. Three and one now. No outs. Runner on. So that's kind of uh, an unintentional walk there. Kind of. Serenity Hill down steps in. Two on. No outs. Fouled off. 0-2 now to Hill down. Pops that up behind the strongman dugout. And that's popped up. Should be an easy out there, and it is for Clark at third base. Casey View steps in, first baseman, power hitting first baseman. And they check the runner at second, he's safe. That's fouled away. Love the uniforms here of the strongmen. Very 1970s Oakland A's. The yellow and the green. That's a high pop-up. To center field, but Dozen Rolls takes it. For out number two, so two on, two outs. Tucker Bauer, one for two today with the single. And rips that one foul. Broken bat, splinters everywhere. Steady takes it for out number three. So the strongmen get one and take the lead. Two to one now as we go to the top of the seventh. And let's see. So Cummings comes in and, uh, as the defensive replacement for you at first. And I'm surprised they're not putting in their closer. Just yet, I suppose. That's a high fly ball. Into shallow center field. Breeze puts it away for out number one. Alex Clark steps in, one for two today. Rios comes in. Pinch hitter for Clark. Big contact guy. Looks at strike two, 2-2 two, two count. 3-2 now to Rios. And he swings through, strike three. So Kai Best, 0 for two, hitless thus far throughout the whole season. Takes strike one. Off the plate for ball one. And Gets his first hit of the year, base hit up the middle. Jericho Dozen Rolls comes in, one for three. With one on and two outs here. In the top of the seventh. Steamroller's last chance. Quickly 0 and 2. Ball outside. Grounder to Wood, that should do it. There it is, out number three. And the Strongmen win in front of their home crowd at beautiful Founders Field as we get a little bit more of a look there at Founders Field. So 1-6-0 for the Steamrollers, 2-6-0 for the Strongmen. Pretty good pitching displays from both sides. We take a look at the lineups. Lots of hits, you know, the real difference here would be the home runs from Ali and from Gomez. Take a look at the pitchers. Gilbert gets the win. Mena gets the loss. It's our first look, though, at a Submariner here in the Cheese League. Take a look at our top three players. We have Langston Ali, one for two today with a homer, an RBI, a run, a stolen base. Milana Gomez, one for two with a homer, a ribby, and a run, and then Wedge Gallegos, the starting pitcher. For the strongmen, five and a third innings pitch, five hits, one earned run. Did give up three walks, but nonetheless, game 18 in the books for us here in Cheese League Baseball. 
Have a good one, folks. Strong men win.